Hey guys, it's Jenny from Graceful Emmy. I'm going to show you how to secure the pull string music box to this little ball that we've created. So first I've made half of my little ball and then here I have my pull string for the music ball with, box which is already inside of the spider. I'm going to flip my ball inside out so that I can access the string a little bit easier. And then all I'm going to do is just um, knot my pull string to the starting tail and I'm probably going to knot this two, three, four times, just something nice and secure. If I need a little bit more um, string from the pull string music box, I can just go really close to the spider and then I'll be able to fix that a little bit later on. So I'm just going to make a couple knots here to get it nice and secure. And then what we're going to do is do a magic knot. Um, the magic knot often I use when I'm uh, running out of yarn or um, if I sometimes I might use it if I'm changing colors even and um, I'm kind of being lazy. It's a really cool trick, especially when you've run out of yarn, to do a pretty low profile knot. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to lay out your two pieces of string so they're kind of opposite to each other. Okay, so first I'm going to use the pull string music box. You're going to put it over top of your other string and then you're going to pull it underneath that. Now you're going to go underneath your same string that you started with, the pull string music box string, and then you're going to tuck it inside. Pull as tight as you can on this. And then we're going to repeat the process with our other, with the piece of yarn. So organize it a little bit here. Pull the piece of yarn over top of the music box string. Go underneath both the strings. And then bring it over top and into the loop made by your yarn. And now pull this as tight as you can. This example would work a little bit better with a longer piece of string and yarn, but I'm just working with what I had. Now you can pull both of the ends together and pull them nice and tight. They're pretty secure together like this. Now I've brought down my music string all the way to the very edge of my ball, and I'm just gonna flip the ball back inside out. And now I'm gonna continue crocheting the remainder of this ball, stuffing it, and um, there we have it. 